नमस्ते एवरी वन वेलकम बैक आई मिशान्या एंड आई एम सो सो एक्साइटेड फॉर दिस वीक्स वीडियो बिकॉज दिस इज बाई फार गोइंग टू बी माई बेस्ट डी आई वाई वीडियो ऑन दिस चैनल सो फार सो अनादर रीजन वाई एम सो स्टोक फॉर दिस वन इज बिकॉज दिस इज गोइंग टू बी माई सेकेंड डी आई वाई दिवाली डेको वीडियो I did one last year and I honestly can't believe I mean how long has it been So anyway if you guys are looking for some more ideas I'm going to link that video right above here so you guys can go ahead check it out and have six more ideas to take inspiration from for your DIYs this Diwali And before we dive into the video you guys know the drill like share subscribe comment hit the bell button for more video notifications from me in future Don't forget to connect with me on social media and yeah let's dive right in Here's a glimpse of my favorite DIY from this lot. For this one, we need four sticks like this of an approximate length of one to one point five feet. The thickness is roughly a centimeter. I got these ones cut from a leftover plywood chunk from my local carpenter. Took him about ten minutes to get the job done. But you can use anything similar like bamboo sticks or wooden skewers. Next we'll need a bunch of ice cream sticks or popsicle sticks and to begin we'll start with the first two sticks right here separate them at a distance equal to the ice cream sticks you guys will be able to get a rough idea about the length of these sticks now i'm using basic white glue for this project feel free to use any adhesive of your choice and apply it at the top of the sticks first placing one of the ice cream sticks to join the two pieces repeat the process using the rest of the popsicle sticks till you reach the bottom of the structure now we'll take the other two sticks and repeat exactly what we did just before once we've obtained two of these ladder like structures we'll hold them in parallel and glue them together using the same process as before. Our basic lamp design is now complete and now it's time for finishing touches. So to conceal these four corners and make it more cohesive, we'll grab four more sticks and place them in a manner like so, which will make our lamp look all the more polished. So this is going to be the top of the lamp and you can easily slide in your hand through if you need to replace the bulb that we'll now be fixing. For that we need two ice cream sticks again and we'll join them like so forming an H. Build up on the base using more sticks around it and that's all. Next we'll of course need something to light a bulb. This I got from my local electrician and you can see the wires properly attached to the bottom while the other end will of course go into the socket. Take any strong adhesive of your choice and use a generous amount so it doesn't come off and stick it onto the base we just made. Our lamp base is ready and we'll now install a bulb before we finally glue it to the bottom of our lamp. Flip the structure over and apply glue to the corners and fix the base inside like so and you're done. Here's what it should look like from the bottom and inside. Here's our gorgeous DIY lamp, absolutely perfect for Diwali and if you guys aren't aware, the beautiful hexagon at the back is also a DIY which I did on the channel a few months ago. It's linked at the top right corner of the screen right now, so do check it out and let me know if you too love this DIY as much as I adore it. You guys aren't ready for the gorgeousness this DIY is. I'm starting off with a gold printed paper like this. It goes perfectly with the festive vibe that we are aiming for. 
Next, we're going to frame it using this beautiful gold lace that I had lying around. It has a lot of sequins, again, perfect for Diwali, and we'll stick both the gold sheet and the lace on a piece of cardboard, which will act as our base. Our base is ready and I'm in love with how beautiful it looks already. Now for the next step, I had this huge cylindrical parcel thingy lying around from one of my orders from Amazon. You can totally use a toilet paper leftover roll or anything similar. This paper has a really intricate design printed on top and I'll cover the cylinder with this gold paper after cutting it to the desired height. Here's what it should look like and we'll be adding more embellishments to make it prettier. I got these very basic silver beads from my local craft store, very readily available and stick them to the bottom of the cylinder. I've used a rubber based adhesive, you can also use glue gun for this but I personally find them messier to work with. Anyway, so once you've played the silver beads at the bottom, Here's how beautiful it'll look and we'll repeat the same thing with pearl and golden beads as well for the next process. Also, this isn't an original guys, I'm replicating a design that I found on Pinterest but I don't know who the artist is so I wouldn't take credit here. Let me know in the comments if you know who it is, I'd be more than happy to give them credits. So I've made two more smaller ones in the same pattern to assemble later. Now for the fun part, grab an old CD, I'm sure all of us have some lying at some corner of our homes and use stones, glitter cutouts, sequins, just about anything to decorate it. I've used glitter cutouts here and I'm sticking them using white glue one by one. These are sticker embellishments which will be easily available at your local stationery and I've picked up gold, pearl and silver variants of it to match with the beads I previously used. Frame the structure using the stickers, going neatly in circles and follow the same for all three colors. How beautiful does it look? But wait, it's not complete yet, so we'll take some almond-shaped glitter cutouts and stick them on the circumference of the CD like so. Here's the completed CD and I love how glittery and Diwali appropriate it looks already. For the final touch, I'll take some scented candles. I love having scented candles lit around my house. Absolutely love them. And I'll cover them using this lace that I, again, had lying around. I'll make three of these for the three CDs that'll be going on the base. And now it's time for assembling everything together. Apply glue like so and keep sticking everything in place using glue. Two CDs will have a similar design and one of them will follow the same pattern for making but will have a different design. Here's the final reveal and honestly this turned out way prettier than what I expected and when you light the candles this looks so much prettier, oh god, I mean I'm at a loss of words to describe how gorgeous this looks. I wish you guys could see it in person, it's just too perfect to be handmade, I swear. For this one, we'll need some felt sheets like so. I'm using the pink one for demonstrating here, so cut out a piece of an approximate width of 1.5 inches and apply glue at one length like so. This wouldn't work with white glue, so make sure you're using something like a glue gun or a fast drying adhesive. Fold it in half and you should have something like this with a hole at both ends. 
Make periodic cuts across the length of the sheet like in the video and you should have something like this. You'll find such craft wires at your local stationery shop, so just take one of them and after applying glue to one of the corners of the felt sheet, stick the wire in place like this. Now this is the most important part. Apply glue in small amounts and keep twisting the sheet like this. Keep spiraling your way downwards and you'll end up with a beautiful lavender flower. Now if you have a gap at the end, pour in some glue and seal it shut by twisting it in one direction like this and the open end should be sealed. Doesn't it look absolutely gorgeous and I've made a bunch of these flowers right here in white, pink and red for the hanging. Next, I'm taking a green felt sheet and I'll cut out different sizes of leaves from this one. Glue the small ones to the ends of the flowers like so. Next, take a hoop like this. You can also use an embroidery frame for this project instead and glue the bigger leaves on it. I've pasted one of the ends of the leaves together so that they become curved and look more real and they'll go on the frame one by one. Now the leaves have been pasted but before we cover the entire hoop, let me show you how to hang the flowers in this portion. You'll notice the flowers have these tiny loops at the ends through which the thread to hang them will be passed. To make them, simply take a screwdriver and bend the edge slightly like so. Keep on rolling it, holding the screwdriver like how you usually would. Trim off the excess and there you have it. Pass the thread through it and make a solid knot at the end when you're happy with the length. Pass the flower through the loop as shown and repeat the same for the rest of them. So our final product is ready. You'll notice I have tied a few threads across the diameter of the hoop to hang some of the flowers in the inner sections as well to give a little more layer to the structure. Hang it around near your windows, curtains, doors and it's such a beautiful and aesthetic addition for your living space. Absolutely, absolutely love it. So I'm including this DIY here because it's extremely simple and easy to do but looks immensely beautiful at the same time. Especially if you're looking for a last minute quick DIY which you can also recycle later on. I've already done a tutorial for this on this channel so you can tap the link at the top right corner right now to watch it and recreate this incredibly simple DIY. This last DIY screams Diwali in 200 languages. For this, you'll need a bunch of small balloons, inflated to almost this size. Should you feel the need to make it rounder, you can apply tape around one of the ends like so. Take a disposable container and equal quantities of plaster of Paris, white glue and water. The proportion should be same irrespective of the quantity you take. Mix it well and dip any thread of your choice in it. I have used silk thread here. You can use woolen yarns, embroidery thread, just about anything and keep wrapping it around the balloon in any random fashion. Make sure your thread is coated with the mixture at all times. I've made about 15 of these and these have dried for a good 12 to 15 hours to become really solid as you'll be able to see in the video. To take the orb out, we need to deflate the balloon by making a tiny hole for the air to escape. 
Usually the balloon would deflate by itself but in some cases you can poke it through the sides so it leaves the surface of the dried thread and it's honestly a really satisfying process. Once it's deflated, you can pull the balloon out of the orb shell and it honestly looks like a beautiful tiny little egg, doesn't it? I'll show it one more time for you guys to get a clearer picture of how to do it. So here are our beautiful orb shells ready in under 20 rupees. I mean it's so beautiful and so inexpensive and now we just have to push in the bulbs of the string lights through the gaps in the thread and that's all. And this along with these triangular curtains make for such a cohesive decor. You can also later on put these over your headboards, they look super cute. I swear the camera isn't doing justice to how beautiful the string lights look with the shells around them. I'll attach some pictures so you guys can see how amazing it looks and trust me, you have to try this DIY out this Diwali. And with that, it's a wrap for this week's video guys. I really hope you all enjoyed. I had put in so much effort for this video and I really thoroughly enjoyed making all of these DIYs for you. Let me know which your favorite DIY was in the comment section down below. I'm gonna be waiting for all your comments. Don't forget to tag me and share your amazing recreations with me on social media. And until then, I'll see you in my next one. Bye.